Hello, good evening. Um, hey, baby. <laughs> Little monkey. I went outside today with the boys. And the ditches are still like, um, well, they were, they were still pretty rock solid. Oh! So they had their little friend over, and they looked like little baby deers <laughs> oh. falling everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. It was slippery. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but now it's like slush. It's it's melted. Oh. Whoa, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. The sun melted it. Uh huh. And I went for a run, so that was nice. Oh. Thank you. The way Um, I'm gonna pull some cards and do don't sweat the small stuff before I give my kids a bath. Do your work. Okay, I'm gonna need you to be quiet, though, okay? Okay. So I can speak. Okay. Do you wanna go play with Parker, and then I'll come get you at bath times. Mm -hmm. Ready? I can help you get down. Come on. I know. You do? Let me know if you need help. Wait, I can fit it in that small hole. You know that? Try it. Help. I'll be already. Hey, there you go. It's my boy. I found you already. Good job, honey. Okay, go tell Parker that it's just about bath time, okay. please. I okay. did, I did fall. Oh, okay. And when you say toys, toys, Mr. Noble, pick up a light. Yeah, jealousy, don't want to accept defeat. I was feeling this, like, um, because I've been feeling so positive, right? And, and like, calling it, up, calling it out as I read it, right? People are trying to take swift action in order to not um, be accountable is, is what's happening. And, and they really, like, don't know what to do because they've said so many uh, lies, deceit. Right? The smoke is clearing from all their lies. Right? Deception. Um, I'm getting all that glitters and gold. There's a certain judge here that lied. Made a poor judgment call. Okay? And, and they acted... Um, damn. Someone's like, what should I do? What should I do? They're weighing out pros and cons. Um... Ooh, clarify the two of pentacles. Wondering how they can walk away from this without um, being accountable. Feeling at a loss, clarify the two of pentacles. Like behind the scenes, these lies were made up so you would make this judgment, right? So it was brought to you as deceit. But you went through with it and gave this money without someone being there, being accountable. How did you even do that? Did someone illegally say that someone was speaking on someone else's behalf based on a lie? Like, how did that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were jealous of this empress and they want to switch something around. Finances. Actually, someone was jealous of someone's nurturing attributes and they tried to switch the roles up. They tried to switch the character. It's going to be an end to having this person miss out on opportunities because they are who they say they are. A superstar, I'm hearing, a superstar. What was I hearing today? You know the Shrek theme song? Um, Shrek. Like, the, like, 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 Shrek, Shrek. Like, Shrek from a movie? Yes. 
Made a poor judgment call. Um, Mom, look at me. I have a special thing. What is this button do? It releases the seatbelt. Oh, let me see. You gotta push it hard, baby. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Mom, can they do the horn only once? Mom? Yeah, this person, this person, um, it's their energy, their energy, their no, essence. Mom. Baby, I'm going to have to get you to go inside for like 20 minutes. No, I'll be right back. Can they honk the horn once? Once. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> my baby that 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 baby he's like my shadow right he's like um my little tail he follows me everywhere so when i when once i get them like all fed and watered i can come out here for like an hour but like as soon as i go back inside like he's just attached at the hip <laughs> <laughs> Like we can either have bath time now or after my reading. It's like after. After. This tea bag, my tea bags have messages, right? And and I put them, I put them on the community tab every so often. And this one says, sorry, I'll let you read it. Beauty is not cause. It is. Right? It just is. It just is. Okay, so these people didn't want to be accountable for, for because they were part of the justice system, right? But this person's essence, their gifts, their honesty, their overflowing sense of love for self and walking away, okay, and tell, telling the stories through, through intuitive messages is justice. Okay, them walking away and not being able to be framed by these people is justice. These jealous people who want to, like, be around this person just in order to switch up some stories, right? But these people are jealous of this person's boss energy, their nurturing energy, their intellectual energy, their, their, their essence, right? The empress. It's, that's, that's every queen, right? They know how to adapt, okay, in, in any situation, right? They're fully balanced in their masculine and, and their feminine. They know when to stand up and speak. They know when to just observe and not say anything. So, so them being of this essence, okay, is justice in itself. Wow. So it doesn't matter whether or not the justice system decided to switch it up and pour into somebody else's cup with this person's finances out of jealousy, out of greed, out of neglect. This person's justice is being exactly who they are. bold and brilliant and know what they stand for like they, they don't even entertain this shit yeah it might be going on it might be going on but I, I have peace I am peace I am happiness Like this, this like kind of has like little kid energy. It's 
kind of has little kid energy, but at the same time being a boss. This is like, this is like someone just enjoying life, going with the flow, and going with the flow just brings more finances. But they don't want you to know this, right? There's a whole scandal around this money. But your intuitive pick, picks. Somebody could be getting like um, new gifts, clairvoyant gifts, visuals. Okay, that's like a DNA upgrade. Congratulations, that's amazing. <laughs> Somebody wants to take action. They're like they're like trying to watch, see where you are. Um, I'm getting patterns. They want to know your patterns. These people are confused on what to do because the smoke is cleared on how they collaborated to try to get you arrested. Trapped, entrapment, okay? They're like trying to move forward with this plan to get you arrested, but like you keep, you keep calling attention to it. Justice, Ace of Cups, Empress. Yeah, they're trying to pay people to collaborate in order to pick you up. Like they, they want to like plant something here. Like they want to plant something here or they want to like set something up where like they're like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Somebody could have like got a vehicle in someone else's name. But I'm not picking up anything else on that story. It's exposed that you put you you said that this person was in a relationship or a marriage, a union somehow in order just to take over their finances or to have something like given to you. There's also someone's, it's also exposed that they've been paying people to like have some sort of connection with you, whether it be friendship, um, relationship, sex partner, but you're fully satisfied with just loving self and being independent. It's like you went from pre-Empress energy to Empress energy. Someone grew at like a rapid pace, okay? Rapid pace, okay? And it wouldn't be so rapid if these people didn't collaborate to like keep pushing you forward <laughs> with this entrapment, this entrapment ordeal. Like, little did they know, collaborating would actually move you forward at a rapid pace. <laughs> Unbeknownst to them. <laughs> like, fuck. Now you just have this, like, loyalty to self, right? They're like, how do we get in and move forward with this if they're so guarded? They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do to further entrap or put you in jail. But, but I'm getting like someone want to plant something in somewhere. Okay. But they're like, they're like, remember I talked about the timing, trying to see how, how long it took for you to get from point A to point B to point C and then back home. Okay. They, they're like, how do we do this when they're always home? <laughs> These people hate that you're dependable. They wish that you just have some sort of jealous outburst, like be unbalanced. They wish that they could like make you like be juggling being unbalanced within by doing acts of like hate, <laughs> but it's, it's not phasing you anymore. You've already called judgment on this.
there's always there's 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 always there's another person who's actually going to bring justice in this situation too. They're recognizing that people just switched the roles when it came to talking about you. And it was out of envy. It was out of thinking that you're undeserving. It was out of thinking thinking that, that you were better than them. <laughs> like who attacks someone like that if, if they didn't think that they were better than them? at least on a like subconscious level, right in the back of their mind. Right, you wouldn't have to say this many lies, slander, make up this many stories, um, try to get this person ar arrested so hard, entrapped so hard, killed so many times, if you weren't a little bit threatened, right? Stability, these people hate that you're punctual. that you're honest, I'm literally like reading it right here. I can see it. They're conflicted on how to attack. Someone was excited to come in and cause you conflict by like throwing shade at you to make you think like, oh, 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 <laughs> how? They want you to be in your head with some like petty shit. Let's pull some cue cards. It's like you would, it wouldn't even entertain that. And plus you're not even out to be able to, <laughs> not even be out to be able to entertain that. There's like a black Dodge scoping out my house the other day. I came right up to the driveway and I'm like, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's exposed that this is just envy and jealousy. Okay, it's a hate crime. Hate crimes. Attempts. Attempts. And this person is still honest and still loyal to self and still peaceful inside. Still happy. Still working on healing themselves and their children. Actively doing it. Okay. extremely modest about it too because people decide not to like you know give credit where credit's due <laughs> they just try to discredit 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 so it's just like it's a real like um it's 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 working this per this person has like so many skills now and they're so modest about it too because it's just themselves um I'm just going to move on. I can't think of the word. My brain just went blank. <laughs> this person being happy, this person being at peace, okay, is somebody's, like, worst nightmare. They feel trapped in the mind. They don't know how to escape all these lies that they've said. Somebody's, like, fucking, like, heartbroken. They want you to accept a third party so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> There's a community that's heartbroken, okay, because they know the toxicity that they poisoned you with. Due to defamation and character, um, plenty of things, plenty of things. Right, they, they, they allowed you to miss out on opportunities and that shit was intentional. Right, that'll be looked into, the jobs that you tried to get that you almost got and then all of a sudden didn't. Right, the jobs that you worked at and they were cutting your paychecks and then all of a sudden your T4 just never got sent to you ever because somebody else is getting your mail for how many years? And then when you try to call the the lady, okay, when you try to call the lady, she just ghosts you and the person you were living with. You know, this just... <laughs> When you try to, like, do better for yourself, right? Try to make, like, some real um, power moves, right? Say go to school or, or accept that pay raise or anything to just, like, improve, right? Um, 
they'd set you up there too. They'd set you up there. They'd either have some, they'd either pay someone to go take the same classes at you and set you up that way. Two people, get the name Re Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah, I got paid to be a toxic person. Got paid to what? Cagney. What's up? <laughs> oh, God. Ugly. Um, yeah, invested so much into this, right? They, they've invested so much into this. Like, I didn't realize how many people, like, talked to cops <laughs> until I became, like, intuitive, right? Like, I thought it was a big deal. I thought it was a big deal until I recognized that everybody's fucking doing it. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm literally the only solid person. <laughs> but, like, I, I have a bad, I have a bad history with cops like actually starving me out okay and arresting me for things that I didn't do or like arresting me due to something that they set up to happen to me or like making going to, to shelters and making sure I didn't have any shelters in 40 below weather okay I don't fucking like cops I just don't okay people are going to have to like do some sort of like retribution when it comes to these people being targeted and bullied with the justice system because you guess what nobody fucking likes cops nobody trusts cops nobody thinks that they protect okay at least nobody i know and i sure as hell don't either And then just take that money, take that money. They're like, she's guarded, she's protecting her independence, she knows what's to her name. It's an end to this deceit, an end to this smoke and mirrors. Smoking mirrors? Positive judgment call. Like somebody didn't retaliate, right? I don't know how many times I said, I will not retaliate. I will not retaliate. I will not retaliate. And how many times, like that's how I got so professional at transmutating energy, right? All this stuff would happen to me. Being set up to be killed. Fucking everybody just attacking me all at once. Every angle of my life. Psyche, okay, which is spiritual, right? Mental, which is also psyche. Emotional, which is also psyche, right? Um, any Anything to, tar to target me. A and then, like, not retaliating, what do you do? You just give it to God. 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 I got really, 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 really good at it. <laughs> Where, like, I could be doing, like, I could be doing anything now and, and do it in the back of my mind. People from the past are having a tower moment. Because you're held in high honor. You made positive judgment calls in your life and you didn't retaliate. Not once did you retaliate. If it was up in your face, you told it what's what and that's it. Then you like dismissed it, right? That didn't show me love. That wasn't showing me respect. Okay, so I'm gonna back up and I'm pouring to self, right? But it's not like this person gave no everybody. It's not like everybody that came to this person didn't get a chance. No, they did. Even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of the, the setups, they still had hope that people were good. But once they recognized that they weren't, they didn't take no shit. They just backed the fuck up, moved away silently so these people wouldn't try to fucking either throw... If you tell people your game plan, they'll throw magic at it and fucking, like, try to do whatever they can to have you not do that, right? 
That's why once you recognize it, you just... And then they won't see it coming when you just fucking disappear. When you block them. When you drop their shit off at their doorstep. They like you don't you don't owe anybody any sort of explanation and no is an answer. So if I say no and I block and I delete you, that's it. I don't got to say anything to you. You don't owe me nothing. I don't owe you nothing. Right? Enough said, enough done. Okay? You know, I know, the most high and the ancestors know all beings of light, right? They know. Even the dark beings know, the ones that you fuck with, right? They know too. And the dark and the light have a contract in the ethers. So like the same darkness that you entertain is the same darkness that's going to take you down. Okay? It's a time to repent, people. <laughs> I guess I'm speaking to the karmics tonight. <laughs> uh. They want you to invest in these options so bad. <laughs> so bad. There's a boss that holds you in high honor. In compare, I don't know why they're comparing. Ooh, okay, it's because you got somebody to compare. You made someone watch and compare, so now you're being compared. And somebody just hates that. <laughs> they're like, I didn't know you'd do good. You're supposed to do bad. <laughs> hmm. Some people are sent here so that everybody, all the people indulging in sin and, and they just have no um, remorse for human life. Like, like life, human, human life, like a human being in their life. Or children in their innocence. You don't fuck with that in God's eyes. Okay? I've never even thought to even think. Okay? There was one time where I was just like, you know what? I wouldn't mind if that person died. And it was when my child got poisoned. Okay? They overdosed my kid and I had to bring him to the hospital. He was overdosing. Okay? They poisoned my kid. And that was the one time I ever thought that I wouldn't give a shit if that person died. Okay? And it, and it wasn't long after, not even a month, where I, like, really thought about it. And I was like, man, how, how, how dark of a life would you have had to live to want to do that to a child? How much hate have you had to have festered in you for a really long fucking time to want to do that to a child? Damn. Maybe I should have some fucking empathy for this bitch. For these bitches. Okay, because men are bitches too. And that was a woman and a man that did that to my kid. Okay. So then I couldn't help but to... to to surrender that thought, I'll never think that thought again. Because that is not me. I endured that, endured that evil. Okay, I was a witness to that evil. I was surrounded by that, like around that evil, right? I was surrounded by that evil. But I am not that fucking evil. Okay, I'm going to shine a light on it and I'm going to give it to God. Because that's the only thing to get, that's the only way to get rid of anything. Right? I'm not going to allow that to consume me. I'm not going to allow you to consume me. Are you kidding? <laughs> and then what? And then what? And then not long after that, my late ex spoke to me. And he told me how proud he was of me. Okay, and I knew it was because I surrendered that thought. That gets me worked up. I need a chill. <laughs> I need a chill. Like, me and my kids are learning together, too. Like, I'll get worked up sometimes, and I'm like, dude, just eat your supper. And then my baby will be like, chill, mom, chill. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? I don't have any problem like just listening to my kids. They're my equal. We learn together. We talk together. Um, we figure shit out together. Virgo in the reverse. Gemini in the reverse. I'm getting someone's lying about their birthday. Like if you were to ask someone when their birthday is, they'll have they'll tell you a different birthday so that when you were to go get readings you don't know their actual their actual sun sign like that's how much of a pathological liar they are right these pathological these pathological liars i'm kind of tongue-tied these pathological liars they um they have identity crises right and they go like psycho. They they make themselves psycho. I'm getting somebody was saying that they ha they wanted to, someone to have cancer, and they're also saying that they had terminal cancer when they didn't have terminal cancer. Okay, and they literally manifested this cancer into their life. <laughs> Dead in the reverse, Virgo. There could be a Virgo that passed. Virgo dead. Because Virgo is untrustworthy. So somebody could have thought that a Virgo was going to rat and they killed them. That wasn't an accident. That wasn't an accident. It's not an accident. There's a Virgo who has like jealousy issues. I don't know what the fuck up. What's up with this Virgo? Okay, I'm gonna pull some cue cards. I'm gonna do a don't sweat the small stuff, and then I'm gonna. Go bathe my kids. Greed in the reverse. Consistent in the reverse. Impressed in the reverse. Enlightened in the reverse. Anxiety in the reverse. Turn off in the reverse. Debt in the reverse. Create in the reverse. Reflect in the reverse. This is all in the reverse. This person's dead. Integrity in the reverse. This person doesn't have any integrity. So there could be a Virgo like figuring all this out. Or there could have been a Virgo who spoke up and that's why they're no more. They always deflected things. They wanted to be accepted. Someone could have taken the coward way out and just killed themselves or like somebody's dead here, but they had a lot of like really shitty attributes like they, you know how people say you got to make a life worth living. This person made a living hell for themselves. Okay, let's do a different out of greed. Let's do a different reading. I'm gonna do one more. That was kind of confusing. Obsessed in the reverse. My shit's in the reverse. I'm gonna flip it over. There's proof that like somebody was like obsessing over someone's money. P someone's impressed over like you being able to say this and like <laughs> cutting people off. <laughs> They're like, damn, how'd they know that? How'd they know that? <laughs> A greedy follower doesn't want to be obsessed anymore but still wants to be a greedy follower <laughs> blessing in disguise plotting blessed karma there's a karmic here plotting for greed they could be like scoping somebody's house out follower person could be blessed the person that they're plotting on Pisces this Pisces is plotting out of greed 
they're acting like they're not obsessed, but they're just like wearing a mask. It's karma that you get caught up in this plot, right? Like you're being watched. Something about someone's GPS power trip. You think you have power somehow. Why? Because you fuck with magic, but that's only going to backfire. People know that you're envious. Like this disguise, this disguise, it's not much of a disguise really, okay? People know how to read between the lines, okay? If somebody comes to you with something, what are they saying? This is how I used to figure it out, okay? Say what? What, what name? Say Caitlin comes to me, okay? So Caitlin. Okay, she comes to me and she speaks about Muhammad. Okay, and she tells me that Muhammad is a secret sex worker, um, that he's a rat, um, that he's obsessed with her, and that I shouldn't talk to him. And actually, I should use my resources, allow her to use my resources in order to that 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 whatever this bitch says okay in order to like decode the mind games okay you need to do your research okay caitlin came to me with this story in this tone of voice trying to convince me of something 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 right Obviously, the first red flag is that this person's immature. The second is that they're a shit talker. The third is that they're showing me that they they just blab at the fucking mouth. They don't know how to handle their own problems. Okay, there's three things right off the bat that I've gotten from Caitlin coming to me and talking about this guy. Okay, this is why I never listen to people who come to me and speak on other people's names, especially in a negative manner. If they're speaking greatness onto someone's name, then there's a certain amount of respect that comes with that conversation but if not you know that they're they're competing they're competing they're competing with someone they're competing with muhammad okay they're a shit disturber okay that's what that situation is telling me just by observing just by knowing reading between the lines of what this person is and what am i going to do in my head i'm going to switch that story around i'm going to look at caitlin funny I'm going to be like, damn, so you're telling me that you're, uh, you're obsessed with somebody. That's why you're coming to me and causing some shit. Case closed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's how you do it. What did they say? Who did they say? Take a mental note. Okay. And then do your homework after that. But if this person handled their shit, if they stayed in their lane, they wouldn't be coming to me in the first place. If they weren't paranoid, if they weren't obsessive, if they weren't, I don't know, man, reflect what people bring to you. People are weird. People are weird. People are weird. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read a Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Um, yeah. My nose is really itchy. Did that one. 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 Okay. Angel number 23, angel number 63. Experiment with your back burner. Not like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your back burner is an excellent tool for remembering a fact or bringing forth an insight. It's almost effortless yet effective in using your mind when you might otherwise start feeling stressed out. Using your back burner means allowing your mind to solve a problem while you're busy doing something else here in the present moment. I do this all the time. <laughs> the back burner of your mind works in the same way as the back burner 
of a stove. Like if you're stuck on something, literally put a pin on it. Your subconscious will figure it out for you, right? And then we, when you go back to think about that thing again, there will be something new that comes along with it, new information. Okay, that you just letting it fucking simmer, okay, simmer down, right? It like brought something from the information field to add to that for when you go back to that because you've had patience, okay, to put it on the back burner and not do anything about it, right? There's something really brilliant about that, okay? Um, while on low heat, the cooking process mixes, blends, and simmers the ingredients into a tasty meal. <laughs> the way you prepare this meal was to throw various ingredients into the pot, mix them up, and leave them alone. Often, less, the less you interfere, the better the result. In much the same way, we can solve many of life's problems, serious and otherwise, if we feed the back burner of our mind with just a list of problems, fact, variables, and possible solutions. Like when, when my kid got poisoned, okay, it was such a rush of things, okay, they made it that way, where I'm like fucking panic mode, do, 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 do. They'd, they'd plant little seeds of doubt, they'd plant little infectious whatever, Okay, to have me feared, have me freak out, to have me not go to the hospital, that, 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 right? But when I was sitting and I calmed my mind and I was sitting in a shelter, okay, I thought back. I put it to the side. I put it on the back burner, okay? I thought back and I'm like, he was in his high chair when I left, okay? I fed him breakfast. I left. I came back. When I checked, he was still in his fucking high chair. They fucking fed it to him, right? And I was just fucking like, I just fucking put it together. There was no way I could have ever put that together if I didn't just put a pin on it and left it, right? And, and, then, when, and then I put that on the back burner again. Okay, and when I meditated on again, I got so more, much more information. So many things that my subconscious picked up while I was freaking out. I was still observant and it came flooding back and then I put it back again until I figured it all out, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so amazing what this does. This is a good one. <laughs> um, just when we make soup or sauce, the thoughts and ideas we feed the back burner of our mind must be left alone to simmer properly. Whether you're struggling to solve a problem or can't remember a person's name, your back burner is always available to help you. It puts our quieter, softer, and sometimes most intelligent source of thinking to work for us on the issues that we have no immediate answer for. The back burner is not a prescription for denial or procrastination. In other words, while you do what you want, while you, sorry, in other words, while you do but to put your problems on the back burner, you don't want to turn the back burner off. Instead, you want to gently hold the problem in your mind without actively anal analyzing it. This simple technique will help you solve many problems and will greatly reduce the stress and effort in your life. It'll just come to you. Okay, it just will. It'll be like, oh, this is ready now. Here you go. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so cool. Okay. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm fully healed from that. Still works me up, right? But like, I've come to the point where I've even forgiven those people. Okay, they'll never be in my life. They'll never be around me. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. Okay, I'll never speak to them again. But I don't hate them. And I gave that hate that I initially felt to God. Okay, because it was too heavy. It was too heavy. And when I did that, I freed myself. I did that. B. Propolis. 
Much of what we know about herbal medicine was learned by observing how animals protected themselves against the same microscopic pred predators that stalk humans, viruses, fungi, and bacteria. This is what somebody was trying to send someone to. Through centuries, herbalists have been fascinated by how bees fortify their hives against intruders and unwanted infections. Bees seal their hives with a sticky substance known as propolis or bee glue, which is collected from plants. Insects or small animals caught in the hive are collected. Are first stung into submission, then immobilized by the propolis, but interestingly, their bodies do not decay. If they did, they would spread infection throughout the hive. Ancient healers such as... It says hypocrites. <laughs> but I know that to be something different, so I'm going to have to look that up. H-I-P-P-O-C-C-R-A-T-E-S. -C -C okay. Um... Deduce that B propolis, propolis, I gotta see how that's pronounced too. I'm, I'm gonna learn how to pronounce these words, okay? <laughs> Pronunciation. Okay. Must have special disinfectant properties and prescribed for skin wounds and stomach ulcers. Propolis was used to treat wounds on the battlefield during World War I and pre-antibiotic age. Hmm. And during World War II, when penicillin, when penicillin was scarce, scientific studies confirm that once again, hypocrites, hypocrites was way ahead of its time. Compounds and propolis have been shown to be effective against a wide range of disease producing microbes, including, dude, you have to read that one for yourself. <laughs> Staphylococcus. <laughs> Oreos, M R S A. Okay. A leading cause of staph infection in hospitals. Since many form of staph are now antibiotic resistant, propolis may just be what the doctor ordered to reduce the risk of infection during hospital stays. About 10% of all hospital patients develop some form of infection while they're in the hospital. Propolis rich in bioflavonoids, vitamins, and minerals. In addition to fighting infection on the outside of the body, propolis, that's it, propolis can also boost the body's ability to fight disease on the inside. Used... As a gargle, it can relieve a raw, sore throat while promoting healing. Possible benefits. Heals skin wounds, relieves pain from herpes lesions, herpes lesions, and promotes healing. Propolis salves and mouthwash can fight gum infections and sore throats. Effective against disease-causing microorganisms. Come in! How to use. Can you wait one second? I'm just about done, and then... One second. How to use it. For external use, use propolis, skin creams, and ointments as directed. For internal use, use propolis salves for sore and infected gums. At the first sign of a cold, slowly dissolve a zinc lozenge that includes prop propolis, vitamin C, echinacea, and golden seal in your mouth. To boost immunity, take 200 milligrams tablet daily. I gotta go see my kids. I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night.